How to make the mask transition. Only 18 begging, please get me out of here. Nothing to see but a kid trying to disappear. Wouldn't believe what the world had in store for me. Today's video is sponsored by Patrick Starr. Add your clips to the timeline. Cut few frames from the end of your first clip. Duplicate this part and bring it on top of the current one. With the duplicate selected, open the color page. Go to the Magic Mask tab. If you're in the free version, you need to go to the Fusion page and mask out the subject manually, or you can finally invest some money and improve your workflow. If you're in the version 18 of DaVinci, change the mask mode to Person Mask. Activate the toggle mask overlay, change the quality to better, because guess what? It's better. Draw a line in your subject and hit the track forward button. Once the AI daemon did the work for you, increase the blur radius somewhere around 5. Right click in the nodes window, and add an alpha, output. Connect the blue dot of your node to the alpha, and go back to the edit page. If you still like your computer and you don't want to blow it up, right click to your masked clip, and select to render it in place. Set the type to Apple ProRes 4444 in order to include the alpha channel also. Trim down the bottom clip, and bring the second one over, so that your masked clip is overlapping to the second one. Go to the Fusion Transitions, and bring a slide right transition, between your bottom clips. Select the transition, activate the motion blur box, and increase the quality and the shutter angle. Change the in and out to expo, or whatever you prefer. Bring a simple push transition, and add it to the end of your masked clip. Select the transition, and set the duration to 6 frames. Change the preset to push down, and increase the motion blur slider. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, this is not a private workshop.